Hey, welcome to the Delayed Gratification Podcast, where we're going to be giving you resources, stories, and reasons how you build wealth with delayed gratification, right? I started this podcast um, because I wanted to show about, talk about discipline, you know, how important is delayed gratification? What is that? What does that mean to you? To me, delayed gratification means resisting some reward now for a better reward in the future. It means being disciplined enough to say, you know what, I got to wait a little bit longer, but my reward that I hope to get in the future is going to be a little bit better. Um, I know we're in the world of, and I'm going to say instant gratification, nothing wrong with it, but all too often we get upset because we're not getting what we want right now. Y'all, this started from when we were kids. Think about it. When you were a kid, somebody said, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you would say a doctor or a lawyer or a football player or a singer, but you understood it, took, it was going to take time. And you was excited about the time that it was going to take, whether it be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, right? That's like the best feeling ever. I remember saying, man, I want to be a lawyer, right? And I knew it was going to take a long time because, you know, when you're a kid, that time goes by so slow, it seems like. And so, but I was excited about it and I was excited about reaching my goal. So I was okay with being a kid for now and then growing into being an adult. We forget about that. We forget about the dream, how long it takes to realize a dream. You don't have a dream and wake up in the morning and it's there, right? Unless you're dreaming about a car or a house maybe. But then even with that, it may take time. You know, if you want that Rolls Royce, it may take time for you to save up or invest and build your money up enough to be able to afford that Rolls Royce. Again, delayed gratification is resisting that 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 feeling now, resisting having something now for a better something in the future. And I want you to think about that. What does that mean to you? This podcast is going to be a lot about showing how delayed gratification is so such a good feeling what does that take we're going to be bringing folks on talking about you know they reached their success at some point because they delayed something to get a better something in the future they delayed buying that car to invest in a a car that was for uber they delayed you know buying that brand new house to invest in a company that will pay for the house and pay for their lifestyle again delayed gratification think about think back to what i just said about being a kid we used to be so excited. I can't wait till I get 13. I can't wait till I get 16 because we thought about the things that could happen uh, when I turn 13 or when I turn 16 or when I turn 18 or when I turn 21. Think about it. Just how does that make you feel? If you remember, it seemed like it took forever to get turned 16 or 18. You know, 18 is when I'm going to graduate and I'm going to be grown. Right. 21 is when, you know, I can legally drink. I know some of us was doing it before 21, but 21 when I can legally drink, um, it just was a feeling. And we couldn't make it happen any faster than it was going to happen. But that feeling when we turned 21 or 18 to be able to do those things that we can do was like the ultimate. It felt so amazing. And so now, you know, I fast forward to where I am now. Uh, one of my biggest things is I'm looking forward to my children being grown. I'm looking forward to them realizing their dreams. So some of the sacrifices that I make right now or have made over the past 20 years are things that will um, make sure that my kids have a better delayed gratification when they get to where they want. So my delayed gratification when it comes to my kids is seeing them being great adults, um, being a grandfather. I'm looking forward to it. I can't get there any faster. I got to be patient, but I'm looking forward to the days when my grandchildren, you know, run in and they're playing and jumping on the sofas or we're taking family vacations. Again, I got to, you know, I got to delay something right now to be able to enjoy those moments, which means I got to make enough money now. I got to invest enough. I got to raise my kids right. And there's some things that I have to miss or not um, have right now over the past 20 years so that I can enjoy those moments because they're going to be really, really important, y'all. It's really delayed gratification is really about resisting something now and getting something better for your resistance later. It's almost like um, 
I'm gonna come back to my kids because I can talk about that. But it's almost like when think about when you want to lose weight, right? Yeah, I love red velvet cake or banana pudding or whatever that might be, fried chicken or whatever. But if I want to have good health in the next five years or seven years or 10 years or even further, um, you know, I may have to resist some of that. Or I maybe I can't have it as much as I had it when I was 17 or 18 or 21. You know, um, I got to make sure that I'm in good health so that I can enjoy all the hard work that I'm doing right now. Right. And that'll, that's just, you know, some small examples. I got to exercise more so that I can enjoy. Think about all we can make all the money in the world. But if you don't delay those sweets and that food that is not good for you, then you're really not going to enjoy the money because you're spending your money and your time at the doctor's office. Again, this is about making those choices of resisting something right now for a better something in the future. And we all got something that we can resist now to make sure we got the better future, the things that are better in the future. Um, you know, uh, I am a real estate developer by trade. That's what I do every day, all day long. And I can say that one of the things that I've had to delay is taking money from projects and using it to go buy things. Right. And I knew early on that uh, I've done it both ways. You know, I go have a big closing and I go buy something. And then that something is not generating income. And then I compare it to, you know, I go buy, I have a big closing or I've generated enough money this year and I go buy, let's say a duplex. So I've saved up enough money to buy a duplex that then brings an income that pays for that thing that I want to have, that car or that trip or whatever it is. Now it's continuously doing it. So again, I had to delay taking that trip to Dubai, which may cost I don't know, fourteen, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars, or going to invest in a project that's going to make that over and over and getting that passive income. We're going to talk a lot about creating income and building generational wealth on this podcast. A lot of our guests are going to talk about different things, different ways to create wealth and build generational income, especially in reference to delayed gratification. Um, daily. I have to make those decisions in my business. Man, I want this new Phantom truck. Or do I go out and buy a 100-unit complex that will then give me the income to pay for that Phantom truck? How long does that take? How long does it take to build up from, you know, no units to 100 units or $0 a month to $10,000 a month in passive income? You got to be willing to make those sacrifices, resisting those things that, you know, that you want right now. You know, that new watch that you want right now. Do I get that watch right now or do I wait two to three years and I have an investment property that buys me a watch? Right. And that's how I look at a lot of things when it comes to my business. We're going to talk about a lot of different businesses on this podcast where people will tell you how they had to delay something to become successful at the business that they're in, um, to build wealth for their family, to just have a better life, that gratification of waiting three to five years of that period of being in business. Because uh, we know everybody says the first three to five years in business, most businesses fail. Can you wait to buy those things that three to five years, after three to five years and your business is up and running, it is, um, you know, you got all your systems in place and now you're starting to make a profit where you get the gratification of being able to spend a little bit of money, right? But continue to invest. Um, I know most of us that will be watching are first generation money makers, maybe second generation, right? Um, and we're excited about having money. And money seems to be easier to access these days but we still have to think about building that wealth. What is it going to take for us not to be first or second generation money or wealth and know that we are th third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation, and we may not even see it all. You know, maybe I get to see um, hopefully two generations now, maybe three, maybe I'm a great grandfather at some point. Um, but if I'm not there, I want to make sure I plant the seeds of some of those trees that I won't be able to realize the shade 
you know, I won't be able to enjoy the shade, but I will see a couple of those years, a couple of those generations again. What does it take for us to get there? We're going to talk about that. We're going to give you guys some resources. Um, we're going to give you some secrets. We're going to tell you some stories that are inspirational. Um, we're going to have some folks on here that will share, you know, some of their pain because it can be painful delaying what we want right now. It can be painful not, um, you know, going without something for long periods of time. But also you can smile and, and have that gratification knowing that or hoping that at the end of that three year, five year, 10 year period. Right. Which goes by really fast that I will get that thing that I really wanted. Right. Instead of settling for the thing that I kind of wanted, Right. Just for that instant gratification or just for that. Ooh, I wanted it now. Um, and I'll give you an example for me is um, being able to see passive income for my children. Right. And I'm going to go back. You know, I love my kids. Uh, I'm at that age where they are grown, I guess I'm going to say. Right. And they're becoming their own. I'm seeing them finish college, um, seeing them make their own investments and make their own decisions. But this is something that 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, I thought about, like, how do I want them to live? Right. And I had to not do things for myself. Uh, in order for them to get here, uh, in order for them to go to college and and enjoy college and travel the world, you know, and maybe maybe I could have had both, but my plan in my plan, I had to um, delay some of the things. I had to have that delayed gratification, and I'm starting to see it now. I'm starting to see, you know, my sons and daughters uh, just be adults and be good adults, and I smile about it. And, and it's not it's not as much physical as it is. Um, psychological and mental, but I'm seeing them um, get ready to graduate from college and I'm seeing them with great jobs and great interns. Uh, I'm seeing them being, you know, just great people. And that's probably one of the biggest things um, that I wanted for them to be great people, great human beings. And that took a lot of balancing early on in life um, because I had kids early and so I had to think about this. It was some days where I wanted to go out and party and I had kids, but I also wanted to spend time with those kids. That immediate gratification, that instant feeling of going out. And I won't say partying, but just being out would have felt good. But sitting around, you know, fussing at the kids, cleaning up after the kids um, meant the world to me then because I was hoping to raise great kids and the time with my kids I see the results of it now right I see them being good people and understanding life and being good to other folks and that was that delayed gratification for me I, I could have hung out and not spent as much time with them and then look back and and maybe say man if I would have been there a little bit more maybe they would be you know, a lot further along. That's just, you know, I think about that though. You know, one of the biggest right now in my life, one of the biggest things that I can realize other than financial um, results is the health of my children, uh, where they are and how it makes me happier today. Definitely than it did 20 years ago. Cause I was calling it sacrifices. Right. Um, it makes me feel like amazing to see them, you know, interact with people. And, um, one of my daughters, um, this past summer was working at my oldest daughter was working at NBC and I couldn't have imagined her working at a company that big such at a, such an early age. And it made me feel good because she was disciplined. She, um, she was able to move from, been in school at Howard in DC and moved to New York for 10 weeks, which was impressive. But a lot of that I think came from, you know, us, me and, me and the mother, you know, showing them the world, telling them not to be afraid of anything, take risk and just enjoy your life. So that came early on. And this, that is the gratification I'm getting now. My youngest daughter, um, who is majoring in business, um, 
took on a job this summer and sacrificing early on so she can understand what she wanted. Um, and, and it was it was great because I saw her work at a daycare 10, 12 hours a day, you know, five days a week. And then, you know, in the fashion world. So she's figuring out what she wants, but she's willing to delay being out and spending her money now. And those are things that they've seen us do as a family. They've seen myself and their mother do. And I'm watching my younger boys do some of the same stuff, study hard, work out hard so they can be better athletes. And again, that's what we got to do. And so delayed gratification, again, is resisting something right now. You could take something right now that's really not all that you want and delaying that for something in the future that you hope that you will get at the end. And we got to look at life as that, that's a part of it. So, again, the guests that we're going to have, uh, I'm going to talk a lot about it, things that um, I have delayed, uh, things that I'm going to delay now that I want to have in five to ten years, um, putting up money into insurance policies. It's going to be so much. But we're really centered on how we're going to build wealth, generational wealth, financial wealth, mental wealth, psychological wealth, spiritual wealth. We're talking about building wealth. And those that we have on here are going to give us stories, examples, uh, lessons. They're going to give us steps to help us create wealth as we watch this podcast, which is going to be super amazing um, from from day one. And I love the fact that we're talking about delayed gratification because so many people in society today don't understand it. They don't believe in it. They get anxiety when something doesn't happen like like right away. Um, it's so many people that are under so much pressure because they feel like the people that are successful happen overnight. It happened in 90 days. It happened in 30 days. We're going to share a lot of stories where it's been five years, 10 years, 15 years, and it looks like it's overnight. It looks like it's instant success. It looks like it's instant wealth. But folks did something 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that sparked an interest in what they're doing now. That took time. Um, people that are building out real estate portfolios, normally it doesn't happen in one year. Normally it's 10 years, 15 years, battle scars, failures, delays, uh, things that are happening, but you only get to see the name and the lights unless you know that person. So we're going to be sharing those stories. We're going to be asking those questions during these interviews. Uh, these conversations, it's just going to be super amazing. And I want you guys to understand the importance. Probably the most important part of building wealth is delayed gratification because that comes with discipline. That comes with goal setting. That's all a part of delayed gratification. If you're not setting your goals and they're not big goals or they're not goals that are, you know, five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, then you're going to have another problem because you want it right now. You know, I'm reading a book and right now and it's talking about taking a journal, a goal journal, and you should have at least 100 goals, right? Living your life. And they were like, you should have 5,000 goals, right? And I'm like, wow, I never thought about 5,000 goals. But to truly be fulfilling and live a fulfilled life, there's going to be a lot of delayed gratification. There's going to be a lot of checking that box. Did I reach my goal? You know, what's next? What's my next goal? Did I reach that goal? And by the time you get to that list of 100 and you get out to the bottom, it may be 15 years. It may be 10 years. You should always be adding goals. Those goals that we're talking about, you know, in between that plan and how we're executing and how we're being disciplined, it's all a part of delayed gratification. You know, um, success, I've heard it before, only comes before work in the dictionary and you hear it, you hear it over and over, right? The only place that success comes before work is the dictionary. And a lot of us don't want to put the work in. We just want the success and the work is a part of it. Working hard, working on our goals. You know, sometimes you got to choose not to take that summer vacation. Uh, sometimes you got to choose not to go buy that brand new car when your current car is working good and work on your dreams and goals, which may be taking time. It's going to be some delays, right? It's going to be some some challenges. But I, what I can tell you guys is if you understand the importance and you study the effects of delayed gratification, you will have a much, much better life. You will become much wealthier. 
it will be uh, psychologically a little bit of a lot less anxiety and wear on you because you understand that it's going to take time. Um, you know, my we said in the church, we said that a delay is not a denial, and that's a part of delayed gratification. Again, this is going to be – I'm super excited about the guests that we're going to have on this podcast from those that have built massive businesses – uh, from those that are have moved up the chain at work because everybody doesn't want just a business because you can still work your nine to five and build tremendous wealth if that's what you want to do. You know, somebody may want to be a doctor and or, you know, a manager of a store or own franchises or, you know, I tell you what, the past three years, we've we've always known the importance of being a nurse, but we've seen how important nurses are. And so somebody may want to be a nurse because they're necessary. They are super important. But I wouldn't tell you not to be a nurse, but you can be a nurse and build wealth. You can be a nurse and invest in whatever you want to build generational wealth. And so we're going to bring on some folks that are that have built wealth while they're doing something. Uh, Their goal could have been, you know, I want to be a nurse for three years, five years. And then, you know, I'm going to move into something else. Again, we got to delay that getting that something else while we're building income or while we're saving up or learning a certain skill. So, you know, again, delayed gratification means a lot. It's a lot. It's a loaded phrase, a loaded two words because it is involved in everything as we're building wealth. And again, the people that are going to be on here are going to give you some amazing stories. I'm going to give you some amazing stories and examples as time goes on. I'm going to talk about things that, even as of today, right now, that I'm going to delay so that in three years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, hopefully 50 years, it'll be at some point that gratification comes for me. And I don't mind delaying. You know, it's been some times in my life where I wanted it right now. I wanted that relationship. And we're going to talk about some relationships because they're critical to building wealth. Sometimes you got to date. And I don't mean just your spouse. I mean your business partners. Um, you want to meet somebody today and you're married tomorrow or you're making $10 million tomorrow together, it may take time. You got to get comfortable. You know that this is the person, but we got to grow together. And that grow together may be mean we operate separately for a while, then we start coming together, and then at some point we merge. Um, think about all the big mergers. They have operated over time knowing that they want to be the biggest, And the only way that they became the biggest is or one of the biggest is they merge with their competitor or they buy somebody out. But it took time to get from where you are to where you want to go. It took years, 15 years, 20 years training people, putting systems in place. Again, this is going to be critical to us building wealth and this podcast being effective on showing you why delayed gratification is super important to us building wealth. It is, y'all, the foundation of building wealth because the discipline, because of the challenges, because of the goal setting, because of you understanding I can't nibble on that cake because I want to be in good shape. Just think about it. What does delayed gratification mean to you? Like for me, it's everything. And the more and more I talk about it, the more and more I study it, the psychological effects, um, I understand how important it is. And it should be super important to everybody. Again, thank you for watching the Delayed Gratification Podcast. I want y'all to like it, share it, join us. It's going to be amazing.